TIFU by trusting my parents. My wife and I had a pandemic baby back in early 2022. She was our first, and so far only, but more importantly was the first grandchild for my parents and my siblings seem uninterested in. Having children so for them it was a big deal. They were mostly okay parents. As a family we did not need anything, but were a pendulum shift between absentee and controlling, and there was a lot left wanting for. Every time we specifically asked for something they couldn't do or get for us it was always chalked. Up to God's will in the very annoying way that vaguely religious American families often do. As I grew up my family grew a bit apart. My older sister moved across country during college and it's difficult to even just get on the phone. During holidays. And my younger brother lives nearby but feels uncomfortable bringing his husband around outside of. Thanksgiving. My parents weren't terrible, which was the nicest thing I could say about them. They were very needy, very selfish, and both very quick to identify themselves as a victim against everyone including each other. Just typical narcissistic behavior. I was always the only child they could count on. And although I live now over an hour travel time away they still call me for minor things which until this week was something I would begrudgingly help with. When the pandemic started I stopped coming over and helping, explaining to them that we need to stay separated for our own good. My mother did not take that well at first, but eventually came around to my line of thinking. Eventually the vaccine came out, and I told them if they got it I would feel comfortable seeing them again. But they were hesitant. I'm sure you've figured out where this is going. Once my wife and I told them we were pregnant my mother said. Oh, I guess we will need to get the vaccine then, in a sullen tone which at the time was very funny for. My wife and I, after a few weeks we were told they were double dosed and for the first time in over a year we visited with my parents. I am not going to lie. It was nice. The next few weeks when they called for help every other day was less nice. Over time we've all caught COVID. Thankfully it wasn't severe. My father did have a rough go of it but never needed to be hospitalized. And this weekend we were having dinner together and my mother commented about how they were glad. All of that nonsense was now over. I said I was glad that we had the protection of the vaccine. She laughed and told me that they never got vaccinated and that I was being irrational. As you might imagine I was thunderstruck. She realized quickly and started rationalizing it by saying nothing bad had happened. But she doesn't understand the danger she put herself. My father. And. Oh. My newborn in. Now they keep acting like I am, unreasonable, for telling them that this was a gross betrayal. I have been messaging with my brother who has been on my side about it all. And I am waiting for a proper apology before even thinking about spending time with them again. TL. DR. My parents lied about their vaccination status to spend time around my baby. Now I don't think I can ever trust them again. This sounds very much like my parents. My dad particularly. I have a transplant so I'm immunosuppressed and had to shield. Live in total isolation. For over a month at the beginning of the pandemic. My dad decided that he was going to go for bike rides before my isolation was up I only found out. Because I called him while he was on one. Later. After I had stopped isolating from the rest of the household he had to isolate for 10 days because of a risk of exposure and after about four days of quarantine decided to break it because he hadn't been brought the cheese and biscuits he wanted after about five minutes. When I told him he needed to be in his room, he started throwing things at me. Like the OPs, my siblings also realized what he was like and moved to different countries. In October. I was diagnosed with cancer and my parents came up to visit the day after I was admitted to hospital. They were utterly useless. My mom waffling irrelevances while I was trying not to throw up and my dad falling asleep the moment he sat down. 
They stayed with my husband at our house. Messed it up and complained that we only had an airbed for them to sleep on. It was after that that I decided I couldn't see them again. I have called them once since. A couple of weeks ago to tell them the cancer is terminal and my mum's response? Well your transplant was the best thing that happened to you it gave you 16 years. Do not leave your kids with them. Ever. They clearly have no respect for you and any rules you have for your kids will be ignored if they don't agree. And then they will lie about it. There was a post about grandparents lying about how they cared for a grandchild. Under 2, I think. And the child had type 1 diabetes. Thankfully, mom figured it out and rushed the child to a hospital. But that poor baby could have died. Nope. Yours sound like incredible narcissists and they won't change. But they will say anything to make you think they have. So PLS keep your child. Ren. Safe. Regardless of how you feel about COVID vaccines and their effectiveness, they completely violated your trust and their cavalier attitude toward this shows they can't ever be trusted. I don't think my parents are so incredible, but I take it for granted that they'd respect any boundaries I'm setting around the safety of my kid. Similar. We had a very small bubble of people we would see once things started to calm down. We had twins the September 2019. The rules were. Wear a mask and keep a small bubble. No eating inside restaurants. Just be respectful and cautious. And if that was too much. We were willing to have distanced visits which we did with my so's mom and stepdad several times. Everyone was good with that. Right before the twins first b-day. We found out my so's dad and stepmom had been hosting these religious get-togethers with other people and strangers at restaurants. All while lying to us about how safe and cautious they were being so they could hold the girls and be close to them. So anyways, we haven't seen or spoken to them in 2.5 years now. I'm sorry. My daughter was born in 2020 and has the genetic mutations for CF and will not test negative. So she could get sick any time. Or not. No one knows. That's legit unforgivable to me. How I want to protect my child is only up to me. Undermining that means game over. If they lied about something that's serious, imagine what else they will lie about. Wow, that's the quickest route to never seeing your grandchild again Bill. Really not looking forward to having this exact discussion with my parents in the extremely near future. Sorry op and good luck. You need to check out R, raised by narcissists and seriously consider going low or no contact. Absolutely no chance I would ever see them again. Lying about being vaccinated when around a newborn, wow that would be hard to come back from. Now I don't think I can ever trust them again. You can't. If you ever need to trust them on something, you need them to give you evidence that they're actually doing what they're saying they are doing. This is a major breach of trust and was done intentionally and knowingly because they think so little of you and your opinion. They literally laughed in your face about lying to you. It also shows a flagrant disregard for the safety of your child and you shouldn't trust them with the care of your kid ever. If the kid develops a peanut allergy or something, your parents are the kind of people who would give them peanuts anyways because they don't believe in that, and your wishes and the kids' health means nothing to them. Sorry op, but you really should go very low contact with them from here on out. I cannot trust you to abide by my decision regarding my family, let alone performing the bare minimum action to protect my child. I will not compromise on this. You have betrayed a trust that cannot be rebuilt. Life your life by doing what is right and I may determine at some future date that I can trust you in my child's presence again. Until that time, do not bother me and mine because I have to care for my family. 
What else haven't they been vaccinated against? Whooping cough. Measles? Polio? If your child got sick would they take them to the hospital or just think it will work out okay with? Some elderberry syrup and prayers? Honestly you can't trust what they say because they lied to you and they only told you by accident. What else are they lying about? Ask them that if they think it wasn't a big deal, why did they lie to you about it? That's an appallingly selfish and, frankly, psychotic decision. Just refuse if that's what you truly believe but to lie and put your desire to see your grandchild over the literal health of that grandchild is just textbook narcissism. That's the last time I would speak to them. You're really trying to defend them here. But it sounds like they do not deserve it. You don't owe them anything. When the best thing I have to say about someone is they aren't terrible people, I'd probably start leaning towards disassociation. You are correct. It was a gross betrayal. Even worse. They put your child's life at risk for their own selfish gains. IIWMI would ban them. For as long as I felt comfortable. You need to tell them you are serious and your child's health will always come first this is. Non-negotiable. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.